Welcome back to Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. Eli, would you ever go on a reality show? I don't think I would. I just finished watching um, Squid Games: The Challenge. I don't know if you saw that, where they had like they did re- they reenacted real life Squid Game. I don't think Squid um, Games is a reality show, no, if I remember just, correctly. They just did one. I'm saying on Netflix, they okay. made a real reality show off of Squid Game, and where they the killed games. people. No, they just like eliminated them. And it was the winner got four four point five six million dollars. Ooh. Um you should watch it, it was decent. But I, I am a big fan of watching reality TV shows, but I personally would never go on one because I think it's just like why would I want they always make it so personal. And what I've learned is once you do that shit, you think you're doing it, you think they're gonna just portray you exactly how it is, you think they're just gonna film it. But the things they do, the any the editing process to make it more dramatic, to make it more whatever, like you're fucked. No, I, I agree. Like it's, it's sometimes can be really bad for PR, but I think, you know, life's, life's not a rehearsal. The camera's always rolling to quote the great six God, Drizzy Drake. So I think I'm always going to be on my best behavior. I think I'm always going to come up with interesting things to say, no matter how they betray me. You know, I don't care at the end of the day, I'm going to put in my, my best foot forward. And I think survivor would be my pick. It's fun. I think I'm always had a nose for immunity idols, always looking for them really in, in, in regular life as well. Haven't really found any yet. I think I have a good, good kind of vibe at tribal council. Won't be the guy kind of being on the outskirts and I'm athletic to the point that I can really help my team, but I don't think I'm quite athletic enough that I'd be like one of those guys winning all of the challenges where it's like the next time this guy loses. He's gone. So I think I really strike the perfect balance there. Just don't send me to Exile Island. That shit sounds like it sucks. Well, they should get rid- Exile Island should never have been a thing in the first place. Um, <sighs> I think I've also often thought that I could win Survivor. Um, and I've done like fake Survivor games with friends in our backyard. Um, and I've won one of those. So you know, <laughs> well, not to, not there to you go. A little there bit you go. There, but I got what it takes. Um, <laughs> I just don't think, yeah, you're saying you would be fine in terms of what you would say and how you would act. And I agree. And I think I would too. But the level of control that production has and the directors and the production producers and whatever, like they could literally clip two different sentences that you didn't even say next to each other in a row to make it sound more controversial. And you sign things when you go on these shows where you're literally rescinding your right to have any say in that. And even if you say everything perfectly, you could still just get screwed by the way they portray it. And I know people say, oh, not all publicity. I mean, all publicity is good publicity. There's no such thing as bad publicity, whatever the saying is. Um, but I don't agree. I think if you go on a reality show and you look like an idiot, it's going to affect you in your real life, especially if a lot of people watch it. Well, I don't think I'd go on a show like The Bachelor. I think that just paints people in such a bad light. And I don't think that's a way that I would want to like find a relationship like that. So I would, so it would depend on the game. But like, again, if it's a game, like The Amazing Race, that's a reality show. Yeah. And that seems super fun. Get to move around. Like Big Brother, I would say, is borderline. I There's actually somebody who goes to Vanderbilt now or, or just graduated Vanderbilt who's on big brother. So like everybody's watching it and they're like, it's so weird to see that kind of version of your life, but the money. And I mean, you could definitely promote the pod there. I think objectively, <laughs> give me five would be benefited. If one of us went on a reality show, whether we made a fool of ourselves or not. Right. Well, for sure. For sure. And that again, I guess what you said earlier actually brings me back to what I was going to say next, which is the craziest reality show in the world, in the world. Love is Blind. That Ooh, yeah. actually, I, I don't understand that show. I watched the first season of it. I've never watched one since. They're on like, what, like season <laughs> now or something ridiculous. Yeah, they're flying. <laughs> but I don't understand that show. Like, why would anybody sign up to go on that? Well, like, do they actually get married? Because there's they no They do, way. I think. Like, no, uh, but some like, people do. It's just like the craziest thing. Is that just like the most desperate people in the world? Like, <laughs> I am going to get engaged to a voice? Are you well, kidding me at that point? I would and be then, interested to see the, the divorce rates in a few years. From, well, from they, the marriage well I wonder shot. I wonder how many times like the doors have opened, you know, that climactic part. <laughs> yeah. And you're just like, oh, like, oh hell, shit. hell no. <laughs> this is absolutely not happening. And you just cancel the whole thing right there because that must have happened a few times. Well, it, I mean, I believe that there is a physical component to love to some extent. You have to be attracted to sure. an extent to your partner. And that can be like an emotional attraction as well. You can be attracted to their personality. But if you are repulsed by the sight of your partner, <laughs> you're probably not going to be able to be in a relationship. And so, I mean, well, this is a topic we'll like... do 
later, but I don't but think But it's also I'm just like it. you talk to somebody for like whatever, a week. I don't know how long it is. And then like even if you really vibe with them, if you're just not repulsed by them, but you're not attracted to them, you really want to settle down. You want this to be the only person you're with for the rest of your life. I right, think that's it, pretty crazy. And, and then it's also like your whole relationship is is for show. Like, you know what I mean? Like people watch Love is Blind and then just the na- nature of humans and celebrities in general. First of all, there's a whole other topic, which is should reality TV stars be celebrities? Like what have they actually done? They're just people. Sure. Um, but I just think the whole point of the show, when you find your partner, your wife, your husband on a reality show, and then all your posts have to be about that. And the, the, the whole relationship just seems then doctored. Everybody's going to be following your relationship no matter what, everyone's always going to know what it's from, and you can never really be genuinely happy, I believe. Not genuine happiness, but certainly genuine money. This has been Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. A reminder to follow us on Instagram and TikTok for a chance to suggest our next pod topic. Hey, Eli, thanks for talking. Always a pleasure, Jones. Talk to you soon.